We want to tell you a story now about a wedding gift with a difference. It involves an unexpected guest who ended up being part of the wedding party and in a way, a part of the family. Let's take you to the ceremony first where we see an announcement by the groom and the bride's reaction. And as you know, we have a seat saved for our son Tristan who couldn't make it. And he's here with us in spirit. But what a lot of you may not know is Tristan was an organ donor. And that was his choice. And by doing that, it opened us up to meet some pretty amazing people. And one of those young men who received his heart is here today. And he's going to come up and be our sixth groomsman. And this is the reaction of the bride, Becky Turney, when she realized what happened. The groom arranged for the man who received the heart from Becky's son, Tristan, to be at the wedding. The recipient was Jacob Kilby. Tristan was 19 when he died, but with Jacob at the ceremony, Tristan was there too. And the newlyweds join me now along with the recipient of Tristan's heart, Becky Turney, and her husband Kelly, along with Jacob Kilby, are in Palmer, Alaska to share their story. And what an amazing story. And Becky and Kelly, first of all, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. And Becky, tell me about what was that like for you, being surprised by the man sitting next to you who received your son's heart? It was the greatest gift in the world. Um, there are really no words to describe that moment other than immense joy and excitement. And it was just incredible. And tell me about how you were feeling that day, because I understand you were, you were crying a lot. You kind of felt like something was up. I mean, it's your wedding day, so that's normal, but tell me about that. Um, I did. I woke up anxious um, alongside of that, though I was, I was weepy. Um, I teared up at the tiniest things, and, um, and I wasn't really sure why. Um, and now I know. I know it's because my son was physically present at my wedding. Which wow. Yeah, and so Kelly, tell us about uh, how difficult this was to organize and what made you want to do this? Well, um, it, uh, it started out probably in about February when um, working with uh, Jacob's Aunt Charity to see if he would be game to, uh, to come up for the wedding. And uh, I, when I talked to him on the phone, I asked him if he wanted to be part of some fun hijinks for the wedding, and he said he was all in. So it... Uh, it worked out well, and then as we got closer to the wedding date, I had to let a few more people know about what was going on. Um, but still, you know, the best way to keep a secret is not to let everyone know. So, um, but you know, as far as a gift, you know, the, having Jacob here was a gift for uh, my wife and our daughter Paige. Um, it was never meant to turn into this. I mean, we're blessed that it did, so we can, you know, share our story. But you know. Um, you just can't go down to the local store and find the right gift for my wife. So this was the best <laughs> gift. I could. And Jacob, what was that like walking up to Becky? And, and I know that you've talked on the phone, but meeting her in person for the first time on this amazing day. Yeah, um, it was definitely an incredible experience. Um, I didn't really think about it until I was actually walking down the aisle, like how uh, nervous I would be and. It was just such an honor, you know, that I got invited and that, uh, you know, the donor family wanted to connect with me. And so, yeah, it was just an, an indescribable feeling for sure. And so, Becky, we've been showing and we're going to show again some of these photos of you listening with a stethoscope to your son's heart. Can you describe that moment for us? Um, amazing. I, that's, in fact, I just kept telling Jacob, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. And he kept saying, that's Tristan, that's Tristan and instant tears. And I never imagined hearing Tristan's heartbeat again. So that moment alone was nothing short of a miracle. It was so incredibly awesome. And, and Jacob, I understand that you spoke at the wedding and you, you had something to say about what it means to have this donated heart from Tristan. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you said? Yeah, um, you know, this isn't my first transplant. This is my second transplant, actually. And, uh, you know, at the age that I'm at, I've learned so much about organ donation. And definitely with with undergoing this second heart transplant, uh, 
uh, I've just really started to appreciate life way more, um, you know, and just learn that every day is, is not given to you. It's a gift. And that for me to be here with this heart, um, definitely, you know, means a lot. And I just wanted to show the family and tell the family that like, I'm good. I'm doing great. I'm going to continue to do good. And, uh, yeah, and I'm alive and I'm here and that's, you know, I can't you know, thank everybody enough for that. And Kelly, uh, what has this whole experience been like for you? Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but it's been great. Um, you know, we have uh, we have new members to our family, and uh, and and it's great. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that you really hope and wish for. You know, I know Becky and I have talked on occasion that we wish a lot of the other recipients of Tristan's organs would reach out to us so we could possibly get to know them as well. But uh, having Jacob in our family is, is a true blessing. And so, Becky, uh, maybe the final word to you. What do you think this means for you going forward? I think it means a lifetime of celebrating Jacob's successes, cheering on his accomplishments, and getting to be a, a physical presence in his life and the ability to watch my son's legacy live on and there's no better gift in the world. Wow, amazing story. Um, thank you all very much, and, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. And that was newlyweds Becky and Kelly Turner, along with their special wedding guest, Jacob Kilby in Palmer, Alaska.